All right, I'd like to talk about uh, my gear a little bit, um, what I use. Um, first of all, we can start with something as simple as the pick. I use Jim Dunlop Extra Heavy Gel Picks, and uh, they're the yellow see-through ones. I don't know why they call them gel, but uh, they do. So I love these picks. Uh, they got a pretty good point to them, and there's no flex to it. And that's very important when I'm picking that I don't have a pick that has any give to it. So you get good, solid, direct contact. Um, so there's the pick. Um, the next thing we can talk about is simply the strings. <clears throat> I use GHS Boomers, 9 to 42. Um, I tune my guitars down a half step, so um, the strings are a little bit looser, but what I do to offset that is for my low B string, I use a 60, and that puts some of the tension back on it since I'm using a floating tremolo. So that's the strings. Um, before I talk about my guitar and my pickups, I'd like to talk about my amps a little bit. I use the Rocktron Prophecy 2 preamp, which comes directly from the factory with five uh, Rusty Cooley presets that you too can have in your own home. So check it out. It's a great preamp. It's very versatile. Gets awesome mega heavy tone. Um, I run the preamp through a VHT uh, 292 power amp, and uh, that's pretty brutal as well. So you're kind of taking the digital and tube technology from Rocktron and pairing it up with an all tube power amp, and it kind of you get the bo best of both worlds in that scenario. Then I run that into uh, four diamond uh, cabinets. Um, which the diamond cabs are really awesome. I also have a diamond nitrox head, which is uh, an amazing amp. Uh, I run the diamond nitrox into two cabinets also. So I'm running a total of six cabinets live. And uh, my pedal board consists of, uh, let me think, it's got a, a Morley Little Alligator volume pedal that I use for a couple of my songs that has some fast uh, stops in the leads and that just cuts it so I don't get any feedback. Um, I use the uh, Morley Bad Horsey and I also use the Morley Tremonti Wah. Uh, I use a Rocktron Austin Gold Overdrive pedal, a Maxon Flanger, and I use a radial, uh, I use a radial axis tone bone. Or no, I'm sorry, it's a switch bone, sorry. And the switch bone is what allows me to use the Diamond and the Rocktron Prophecy rig through the VHT at the same time. So after I come out of my guitar and run through my pedals, I go into the uh, switch bone last and then I get two chords coming out of that, running one into the VHT, one into the diamond. Um, so that's, that's the amps uh, and the cabs. I also use a Bogner Ubershaw. It's a really amazing and raging head as well. I kind of swap that out at times with one of the other amps. Um, I think that's it for my gear. I'm sorry if I left anything out. I use IntelliTouch tuners. That's one other thing. Um, in my guitars, I use EMG pickups. I love EMG, I use them exclusively, I have been using them for years. Right now I've actually got the EMG uh, 85.7 in the bridge and I got the 707 in the neck. Um, great tone, I love these pickups. All right, I'd like to talk about the guitar a little bit. <clears throat> this is my uh, signature series guitar, it's the Dean RC7 for Rusty Cooley. I'm very happy and proud to be with Dean Guitars. Um, as, as I think any guitar player would be very happy to have their own signature model guitar. It's kind of a dream come true. Um, the guitar is an amazing guitar. It's a seven string guitar, high E, low B. Um, some of the things that make this guitar very special to me is that it's the most playable seven string guitar on the market. I've spent years and years playing guitars and fighting with guitars because something on the guitar would hold my playing back. Um, so one of the first things I'd like to talk about is the neck. Um, the neck is ultra thin. It's, as far as I know and have ever seen, it's the thinnest seven string neck on the market. Um, it's got an ebony fretboard and it's got Jim Dunlop 6,000 frets, which are the tallest frets on the planet, next to scalloping your fretboard. Um, the reason I like tall frets is because when I'm playing the guitar, it's my fingers against the string and the string against the frets. My fingers never actually touch the wood of the neck itself, which allows for very clean, smooth, and fluid playing. You're never getting uh, stuck on the fretboard. So you also, with this kind of uh, size of frets, you have to develop a very light touch because if you're pressing down too hard, you're gonna actually make the guitar go sharp. So this helps you play faster in the long run because you're developing a light touch. And anytime you wanna dig in, you can still dig in. Um, so you don't lose that. Uh, the next thing I'd like to talk about uh, is the cutaway. Now the cutaway on this guitar is really special as well because the cutaway, the depth of the cutaway goes beyond the 24th fret. That means whenever I'm up here playing, my hand isn't hitting the guitar body. I've got all access this way. Now, the other thing is the width of the cutaway. You know, you just can't have it deep without it, uh, 
without also being wide. Because if you're trying to do any kind of big stretches, the cutaway has to be wider this way. So we've cut it deeper and wider to get it out of the way. And to even take it a step further, we've beveled and recessed the entire backside of the neck. But, or I'm sorry, the, the lower horn, because I've had cutaways where they were deeper and wider, but we didn't, we didn't taper this off either. And what would happen is this side of the horn on, over here would dig into the back of my hand. So we sculpted that all out. We've also taken the neck joint and pulled it back so that it's shorter, which means you can get your thumb up higher when you're playing on the high end of the fretboard. We've also recessed it down and beveled it, which makes it really easy to gain all access to the entire fretboard. And you can do as wide a stretch as, as you want, or your hand can do, without it ever uh, being held back by the actual body of the guitar. There's no other guitar out there that you can do that on. Um, the next thing is, uh, the neck is actually, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the neck is actually sunk down deeper into the body. Okay, and the point behind that is that when you get the neck deeper in the body, you can also get the bridge deeper into the body so that when you're picking, your right hand just comes right up and goes on to the seven string or six string, uh, depending on, well, I guess it's only in a seven string model. But uh, it comes right up so that you're not reaching up and over the bridge to actually play. Uh, it seems like all the guitars I've played in the past, you really have to change your picking. You know, when you're on the bridge and you're picking, everything's cool, but as soon as you get to the lower strings, well, your right hand pops down onto the body and then everything's a little bit off balance. With this guitar, that problem has been eliminated. Um, I like to keep things simple as possible, one volume uh, and one three-way. Tone knobs just get in my way. If you're playing live and you're in the moment, it's like, well, is my tone up, is it down? Well, you don't ever have to worry about that. My tone's wired on 10. Got a three-way pickup selector. Another important feature is the tremolo. I have a low-profile tremolo. And what that means is most guitar players that use tremolos, um, the fine tuners are really high and when you're picking, the fine tuners actually get in the way of my picking hand, and I can never fully get adjusted or get comfortable with that. So with the low profile tuners, it doesn't matter <clears throat> where I put my hand to pick, the tuners are out of the way. Um, I think one of the last features is the jack. I like it over here, so when I'm standing up, it's out of the way. Um, when you're sitting down, it's okay. Um, that's awesome. My strap is a killer strap that I just had custom made by snakeskinstraps.com. It's a Randy Rhodes replica. Um, Randy you had a strap exactly like this on his white Jackson prototype. So just kind of paying tribute to one of my heroes, I got this strap. I thought it looked pretty awesome with this guitar.